one there that I couldn't find that we had that said Kellen Mond was the best quarterback in the 2021 draft. Um, and then this one down here, uh, wow. I have a video that I want to actually play you. It's, it's, it's 15 seconds long, and I want to get your take on the video. Our other, our, our other co-host, Brendan, who co-hosts the Patriots, Pat Stans, Inc. with uh, Connor here, uh, he had this to say at week 10 of the NFL season. Oh, the dice lambs. Oh, oh no. That's, that's what Rodgers is going to do to them Sunday. <laughs> that was nice, Anthony. Whoa. That one was, yeah. It was was not, yeah. The Rams are seven and three. Uh, everyone loved them as potential one seed, what, three weeks ago. Uh, not even going to make the playoffs. Not even going to make the playoffs. Love it. Look out. <laughs> Ooh. So, uh, which one of those is uh, obviously a, a freezing cold take? <laughs> Mm. Uh, well, I, I guess the second one, because I mean, like, you can't be any more wrong, like, <laughs> big playoff, especially mid season, and then win the Super Bowl. So, like, 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 I don't know if you care. And the Kellen Mond one, you say he's going to be sleeper, but you didn't specifically say how good he would be in the NFL. Yeah. Um, it was really like, uh, I mean, I'm, I went to University of Florida, I watched University of Florida, I watched SEC games, tell Kellen Mond. That would be a tough one for me to endorse at the time, although. In 2020, when you were Texas A&M played Florida, um, Kellen Mond really looked like a combo between Mahomes and Brett Favre. That one game, for some reason, I guess because our defense was terrible. But uh, um, yeah, so uh, but he was always inconsistent. I just never really would have trusted him to be one of those guys. But um, yeah, so I think the second one, second one's as bad as it gets. As bad as it gets. I mean, like yeah, <laughs> can't do that and then have them win the Super Bowl. It's just. Um, 